Uh, today is March 1st, 2015, and I'm going to do a small interview here with Robert C. Davis. Uh, he's a lifetime resident of East Palestine. He's 95 years old, and he was born in October 1919. Let me just say, this has been a pleasure me meeting you today. Yep. I hope after leaving today we can have a better understanding of how life was growing up in East Palestine. Were your parents born in East Palestine? Who? Your parents. No. Where were they from? My mother was from uh, Youngstown, born and raised on Todd Lane, north side of Youngstown. My dad was born in uh, Deersville, Ohio, which is down near Tappan Lake. Tappan Lake, yeah. Yeah. What type of jobs did they have? Well, my father, when he was a young man, some of his jobs, uh, odd jobs, was working on the ore boats. Uh, on. Uh, when the ore boats went from Superior, Lake Superior, to Lake Erie. He did that when, when he was a young fellow. And... What year was he born? I can't tell you exactly. You don't know. Can't tell you exactly. I think Probably. it was 1891. He was six years older than my mother. I think it was 1891. And, uh... Well, it was before the 1900s. Okay. Yeah, your mother, she just was a housewife at home? Absolutely. How many brothers and sisters did you have? Seven brothers and two sisters. When you were around 10, 12 years old, describe a typical summer day with you and your friends. What did you guys do? Did you guys well, have bicycles? Couldn't afford a bicycle. Uh, we always had a garden at home. And we chopped wood for the <clears throat> for the winter time and made sure there was enough coal in the in the shed for the winter. Did you play any sports and, when you were younger? How's that? Did you play any sports when you were younger? Oh, Basketball, baseball? Well, we did all of that as kids when I was living on East Clark Street. Mostly was uh, the baseball field over there on East North Avenue. Mm. And my father had my older brother Don, Bill, and myself. I was the youngest. And we always had a big garden. In the mornings in the summertime, we got out of bed, had breakfast, went to work in the garden. The garden work had to be done. There wasn't, there wasn't room for a weed in that garden. And after we got that done, uh, then he would let us do what we wanted to do as long as we didn't get in trouble. <laughs> And a lot of the, a lot of that time was over there pitching horseshoes that, that Tom Jones had. Uh, we was we was allowed out in the summertime until nine o'clock. We could play on the street corner, we could shoot marbles, we could do anything as long as we didn't get in trouble. At nine o'clock, the curfew rang. And you had not better be on the street. That was when a large, loud whistle went off in town? Not a whistle. Bell. Oh, bell. It, it hung on the, where the police station is up on... Uh, Main Street? There, it was a great big wooden building. And there was a tower in there and there was a great big bell. Oh. And every night that bell rang at 9 o'clock. Chief warned in the summertime had a motorcycle with a sidecar. If there was any kids on the street, 
after 9 o'clock. He'd pick them up, put them in the sidecar. Where do you live? He'd take them home and reprimand the parents because <laughs> the kids wasn't still out after 9 o'clock. <laughs> he put the fear of God in you. Did your uh, did your family own a horse and carriage? Any horses? Uh, no. No? No. Walked everywhere you wanted well, to go? I walked everywhere we went. When I was 14, uh, 15, maybe 13, 14, 15, in the summertime I worked out on a farm, out of all the orange place on, on Adams Road. I walked there, I walked back at night, unless I got a ride this way. Hmm. And they, they treated me real good, but I, I got a lot of education there. When, uh, whenever you did leave town, where's, what's one of the very first places, the furthest you remember going? Was it Youngstown? Was that like unheard of going or? Well, we went to Youngstown. I can, <clears throat> I can remember when, uh, when I started to school or when us, all of us started to school. My dad had a Buick touring car, and we would go over to. McKelvey's over in Youngstown and buy all of our school clothes. And uh, that, <clears throat> that was it. During your school days, you did attend the Wood Street High School, correct? Uh, East North Avenue up to the fifth grade. Then three grades at Wood Street School. And by the way, my wife's grandmother and Harry Lawrence were in the same class. Oh. And a bunch of those kids went out and raised money when there was something for some special that was going on in the school that the school couldn't pay for, couldn't afford. When, uh, when that school was built, I have a picture with about seven or eight steps that led up to like a smaller walkway between the school and the like a little hillside it used to be there. Yeah. But when I go over there now to look at the steps, there's only like four or five. Well, what happened to the steps? Did they flatten that land off? They did, since the school was torn down. And they used that for, that, that lot for well, the old Captain Taggart was behind that. And they stood at the same time at one time, right? Yes, they did. The Captain Taggart was where she went when she was a kid. And uh, they, they named that school after Captain Taggart. Uh, I think that was uh, the First World War, or maybe even later. But Captain Taggart got a land grant from from Market Street uh, north because it could, that, that that section that he got was in three different farms and Wilbert Taggers was out the furthest out, you, where Weeders is, yeah, that was part of it, and beyond that, on the left-hand side, and that's where Wilbert lived. Uh, Ray Taggart lived in the big house at the end of Main Street, the dead end, that big house up there. That's where Ray Taggart lived. His parents lived on up uh, where the old, where the foundry is now. Mm. That was that was the original farm there, and then across from uh, Oliver's funeral home, you'll notice here's the parking lot, and over here's a house. Well, that's one of the old original houses too, but it torn down, and two of Ray's daughters. Built, built that house on the same spot. 
It was still there when I was a kid, though.